Okay, so question one is a translation, okay? So when it says what is the name of this type of transformation, you literally write down that it's a translation, okay? All right, so that's the technical term for it. Um, why is it called translation? Well, translation just simply means to shift, okay, or to move. So um, if I trace the shape, I tried to trace the shape earlier, okay, and you can see here then when I trace it, it literally has moved across the page over to here, okay? So it's just a shift, okay? Now what hasn't happened is that it hasn't rotated, okay? Right, and that's important, because if it had rotated, um, we would say the transformation that took place there is a rotation. It hasn't done that. It also hasn't got larger, okay, or smaller. If that was the case, if it got larger or smaller, it'd be an enlargement, okay? Um, also, it hasn't been reflected. There's no mirror image of it here, okay? So it's not a reflection. It is simply a translation because it's shifted perfectly across the page here, okay? So we can do the same sort of thing then with question two here. So it says here, translate the triangle below three squares to the left and two squares down. Now tracing paper can be useful here, okay? So if you trace the shape, okay, I traced this earlier, okay? Three squares to the left, okay? Literally one, two, three, okay? So, I, so you shift it to the left by three and then it says two squares down. So one, two, okay? And there is your shape shifted, okay? That's where we need to put it. So, um, you know, you can then lift up the tracing paper, put the points there, okay? Or you can stab it if you want here. So it's quite, so it comes through on the paper, okay? And you can see then you've got your shifted shape. It's just moved across the page. Hasn't rotated at all or reflected. It is literally moved. So we call that a translation, okay? Um, now, sometimes in the exam paper, they'll put it in this form. This is what is called a column vector. Okay, column because it's vertical. And it's really simple because in this case here, they ask us to translate it, okay, using this vector here. Now, the top number tells you how many you move across. So in this case, we've got to go across two, okay, to the right, yeah, because it's positive two. And then the bottom number tells you how many we go up or down. Now, in this case, because it's positive four, we're going to go up four. Okay, so again, you know, you can trace your shape, okay, and uh, shift it that way if you want, okay. Um, so I've traced my shape here across for one, two, three, four. No, it says across two, doesn't it? Let me get that right. So across two, yeah. So one, two, and then up four. One, two, three, four. So you see how easily I got sort of mixed them up there, okay? How I mixed them up. You've just got to be careful there, okay, to get that spot on. All right, so across to up four. Um, and the shape, when it's translated, part of it is, is inside the um, original shape, and that's okay, so don't worry about that. That can happen, okay? Now, if you haven't got tracing paper, it's really simple because all you do is, is you shift the corner points, okay? So, for instance, that corner point there, okay, well, you've got to shift it across two, up four, and it goes there. And it's the same with this corner point. Just shift it across two, up four. So, it's really easy, isn't it? And the same with the other two corner points. Once you've got the corner points in place, you can then draw your shape, okay? Perhaps we'll do that in this case here, okay? Translate, it says triangle A using this column vector. So, we've got to go across five yeah in the positive direction but notice then the bottom number tells you whether you go up and or down but because it's negative six we've got to go down six yeah okay so we're going down six there so there's negative six there shows us we're going down six well okay um so focus on the corner points across five one two three four five and then down six one two three four five six so the corner point will go there okay so we didn't quite catch that i'll do the same with this corner point across five one two three four five and down six one two three four five six so we're going to go there and the other corner point then is pretty obvious it's going to go here isn't it okay all right So we've translated our shape, OK, 
Okay. Um, you can try to check with tracing paper if you want. Okay. So um, I've gone across five. One, two, three, four, five. And then down six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now, in the second part, it says write down the column vector that will reverse the translation in part one. The reversing, obviously, is going backwards. Okay, so how do I go backwards to A? Well, again, tracing paper will really help you. So if you think about it, to get to A, I've got to go across one, two, three, four, five. But notice I went backwards, so it'll be negative five, yeah? And then I've got to go up. One, uh, two, three, four, five six so i'm going back five and then going up six okay so back five means negative five and then up six there so you notice it's kind of the opposite of what i had here because that was positive five negative six here it's negative five positive six okay right um finally then translate shape a is translated into shape b which one of the following vectors describes the translation? Okay, so which one here? Well, how do you get from A to B? Well, you can see it's gone across and then down. So if you count that corner point, it's gone across one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's gone across eight. So positive eight then. But then it's gone down two. So it'll be negative two there. So remember, the top number tells you how many you go across. Bottom number tells you how many you go up. Or down in this case so it'll be that one so we can circle the appropriate one here which will be the first one okay